Hey guys, it's Ro and welcome to this video. So what I have to share with you today is this really cool paper weaving project. Um, I had some scraps and I said I need to get rid of some of my scraps and make some space. So that's pretty much how uh, this project was birthed. But it is so easy and it's so fun and it's so versatile because you can do so many things once you make like a, a sheet of these I guess you call it paper weaving. I didn't even know what it was at first and I had to like Google because it's like basket weaving, I guess you call it. That's what I I think the closest uh, term to kind of what it is. So it's just really taking your scraps and, you know, weaving them into like a pattern like this under the butterfly. And then you can do so many things with the pattern. You can make journaling cards, you can make pockets, um, you can make mini albums, you can make tags, um, so many fun things to do. I think what I want to try next with this specific technique is uh, making something for junk journals because, you know, like you can use uh, music sheets with like magazine paper or book paper. And I think that would be really fun as well using the same technique. So let me just show you what I made so far and then we'll just jump right in and I'll show you how to do it. And then I'll, you know, show you some ideas that you can do with it once they're finished. So here we have a pocket that I did the paper weaving and then I just put a butterfly on top, raised a little bit with one of those phone tape thingies. And I just put a little cinnamon at the bottom that says adventure awaits. And so with this one, I just turned it into a cute pocket. I think this is called a library pocket. I'm not sure. But then also inside, these were also made with the paper weaving sheets or paper woven sheets or something. <laughs> but I made uh, this cute little notebook. And so this one, it just has a piece of vellum and a side pocket that I just put this little card in there. And it's just some blank sheets. So I turned this one into a little notebook. And then with this one, I made a little tag. But it's so cute and it's just so fun to put all these different design and colored scraps together. You can use regular sheets of any paper pad that you want to as well, but it is also really a great way to use up scraps and do all kinds of things with them. Um, like this one, for example, I used two sheets of a specific paper pad because I was curious how it would look with just two specific designs. So you could definitely do that. I did like two six by six sheets and cut them up into strips and then just wove them like, like this one that you see here. And then the back is also woven as well. Um, and then this one came from the same square sheet. So they look like this when you're done. It kind of looks like this. And then you can cut it out to make tags, make pockets. Um, so I, that's pretty much how I did this project. I took one sheet and I cut it like, let's say, halfway here. Um, and then kind of folded it to make the little notebook. And then the other one I turned into a pocket. So I'll share with you some of those I ideas as well as we move along. But that's pretty much how they look. There's really no rules. I'm going to show you um, how to do it with um, one inch strips. But you can make quarter inch strips, half inch strips, really small uh, strips to really large strips. So there's really no rules. But to make this video not be hours long going through the woven process, I just chose uh, to use, and let me show you the strips. So you just cut as many strips down as you want. And I cut these down into six inch. So they're six by one inch. So one inch by six inch. And uh, I just I have tons of them that I just wanted to have cut already so I can just start weaving. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but you can make these strips longer, shorter, you can do half an inch, quarter, you know, just really whatever you want. But I'll just give you the, the basics of how to how to do the weaving and then you can just, you know, make all kinds of stuff with it. Um, and so this is the other pocket that I made that I just put a little lace trim on top, put a little flower here. And then I just put a little ribbon here with another little, this was like a scrap from the <laughs> from the scraps, I guess you could say. So I just turned it into a little tag put some gems and, you know, I, I uh, glued a white sheet on the back. And that was about it uh, for that one. And then inside this pocket, I just have a little journaling card and a little notebook, just white sheets inside. And so these pockets, they fit a lot of stuff. Um, and like I said, I mean, you can do everything with this project. So really wherever your imagination takes you. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it. Oh, and this one, I just put a couple little things in it um, inside this cute little mini pocket right here. And so we've got our little notebook, 
another tag, this type of pocket. So yeah, you can do so many things. And I'm gonna show you how to make a mini album as well if you'd like to do that. So uh, let's go ahead and grab our scoreboard. I'll show you really quick how to cut the strips down. So let's see, you just take um, any uh, scraps that you want, or if you just wanna use your regular paper pads, totally up to you. But all you do is you just cut them down to one inch. So you would cut here and then you just cut six inches or really however far out you wanna go. Totally up to you. Um, so like this one, I did one inch strips. These ones, I believe these were three fourth inch strips. So just really up to you with that. So once you have your strips, and for this specific project, we need 10 strips total. So you would just need 10 strips for what we're gonna make right now. And uh, a sheet of copy paper, just any kind of throwaway sheet that you wanna use just to help give us a little bit of um, protection to just make it easier to do the weaving. So I'm just gonna grab like a throwaway paper like this. You don't have to do this part, but it just helps to kind of keep it more in place as you go through the paper weaving, um, but you don't have to do it um, if you don't want to. So for this, you could use glue. I just used um, double-sided tape and I just make a line right here at, at the very uh, edge of, of the paper. So just one little strip here. And you'll see what I mean in a second of why this kind of helps keep everything in place while you're weaving. So I'm just going to take this off like so. Okay, and so then you just grab whatever your first five sheets are, five strips, I should say. So I'm gonna use this one, this one, three, four, and five. It could just be random, however you want. And I think this would be cute too if you like picked a bunch of, you know, pink pattern or blue pattern and did different colors or, you know, color themes or really whatever you wanna do. So really easy once you get the technique, but you'll see what I mean here. All right, so all we do is we put the end edge here down and we want it just on top of the tape just to hold it in place, but um, we don't need to go that far in, just enough to hold it in place for us while we're doing our weaving. Okay, so it would be something like that. And so you just wanna make sure that they're straight across. And then we just put our next uh, sheet right under it. So literally right under it. We don't wanna have any white space when it's all said and done. So that one. And then we just put our next sheet, and this is not even cardstock, this is just regular printed paper. So you can use, you know, whatever you have. Um, okay, so then we're just gonna put this sheet here, and then this one, right under it like that. And then our last sheet, I didn't even need to use that, that much tape. Um, so I'll probably save this part for later if I wanna do some more weaving. So let me just cut this off now real quick. I can use that later. Okay, so then we just take our next five strips that we wanna use. So let's see, I'm gonna use all different ones that I haven't used yet. So let's say I'll take this purple, two, three, four, and this one, five. And so, like I said, you can use tons of sheets. You can use um, different measurements. So right now we're working with the one inch strips, but they really could be any size that you want them to be. All right, so then all we do is start the weaving process. So you just you know choose if you wanna go under or over. So in this case, I'm gonna go over the top strip and then under, over, under, over. So pretty much like this. So it's over the first strip under the second strip, over the third strip, um, under this strip. And see, this is why I like the tape because it's just easier to pull these apart and it doesn't go ah, all over the place. <laughs> and just makes it a little easier to hold while you're going through the weaving process. And so I'm just gonna leave a little bit of space between here and here so that later when we cut that off, it'll just be a little bit easier. So not too much, just a little. And we wanna make sure each strip is um, straight. So let me show you. So it'll look like that just a little bit away from our sheet here so that it's easier to cut. 
in a sec here. All right, then we take our next sheet and we just go opposite. So since this one's on top, we're gonna put this one under the first sheet and just go opposite. So under, over, under this strip, over this strip, and then under this strip. And then when you do that, you just push your strip as far as you can over to the one next to it. So we want it to go over as close as possible without going on top of it or anything because we don't wanna have any white space. And so then we grab our next strip and do the same thing. So since this one's under, I'm gonna go on top like that one. So on top of this sheet, under the next one, on top, under, and then on top. And we're gonna move it over and just make sure, you know, that it stays straight each way. Since this one's on top, I'm gonna put this one under that first strip over under these little polka dots here over and then under this one like that and so i just chose this size and this many strips just to show you how to do the weaving but so that it wouldn't take forever <laughs> um but like i said you can you can just go to town with doing much larger sheets and um really easy too like if you do let's say um, let's just say this is a six by six sheet, then all you really need to do is take two sheets or, you know, three or four if you want different colors and designs. And then you pick if you want your strips to be a quarter inch, half inch, one inch, however size. And then you just cut both strips exactly the same. And then when you're done weaving, it'll be that six by six uh, woven sheet. So, um, but this is, you know, how I decided to do it for the tutorial using our scraps. So I hope all that makes sense. Um, okay, so now let's do our last sheet. So this one's under, so we'll go over, under, over, under, and over. And then when you get to this part, again, you just wanna make sure they're all close to each other so that you don't have any white space um, in between. And now we let the fun begin because now we can just do whatever we want with this sheet. We can make journaling cards, pockets, you know, whatever we want to make, which is why this project is so cool because, I mean, you can just use up so many scraps with this and make so many different things. So, um, all right. So I think that's good enough, for, at least now for the tutorial. So then we take our glue and we just really want to glue just around the the outer part of it you don't have to glue obviously in here once we glue the outside it holds everything in so we'll just take our strips right here put a little glue there whoop mine stuck out on me we want our strips to kind of be even right so see how these are all even across all even and that's pretty much it and so we'll just go ahead and keep gluing these into place so i'm gluing this one and then for this part, once these top ones are glued, you could literally just push it up like that and then you can get these two under there. So really easy. And then we'll just keep gluing. I'm gonna glue on the side here, just a little bit to hold it down. And once these outer ones are glued down, it holds all the inner ones into place just fine. And you know, just keep an eye while you're gluing that you're not creating any openings or anything. Okay, and these ones are being held by the tape, so when we cut it, we'll be able to glue those ones. So let me get this, these two under here. And then I think I didn't get these side ones, so let me put a little glue there. I got that one, okay. So that's it, that's how you do the weaving. So I didn't want you guys to, have to watch me weave for like an hour, so. I said, once you know how to do it, you know, they can really be whatever size that you want and you can make large, wider. All right, so now we have that. So now what we're gonna do is just cut this sheet off. So let me grab, where did I put my scissors? Let's see, okay. So we're gonna cut this off and I'll show you once I cut it, like just cutting these little outer strips right here. So see, we're just cutting. At this point, we're just cutting around, getting rid of these little bitties here. You see, so we're just cutting those off. And then we'll have a nice 
square that looks like this. So we're just getting rid of these little frilly things on, around the border. So I'm gonna cut this one off on this size and you can use your trimmer if you want. And then we're gonna cut these ones off right here. And then we're gonna cut these ones off over here. Just so we have a nice, even square. Just getting rid of anything that's kind of like sticking out. And at this point, you'll have a couple little loose after cutting that we need to glue down, and that's normal. So I'm gonna glue that one down, this one. So any of them that are on the outer edges, you just wanna glue them back down. Okay, and that's it. Now we have a cute little square that we can, you know, cut up and make little journaling cards, turn them into pockets. So let's say I've done already two of these. I can now take this and you know, I can do something like this. Let's say we wanted to make this pocket. I can just bring it down as far as I wanna go. Maybe I want my pocket to be higher there. Maybe I want it to be here. And then all I did was I just glued, I just glued it right here and right here. I put it on and then when I'm done, I can cut off that overage and then just apply glue right under here. So that's if you wanna make this pocket. Now, of course, you may want to put uh, put this on some a white sheet of paper or cardstock or something just to make it more smooth on the inside. So I could glue that down and then just cut off any overage and then go ahead and do my pocket, whatever size that I want. Or maybe I want to cut this, you know, right here, maybe right there, and I can make a little booklet because that's all I did when I got to this step. I just started cutting around it and then I folded it and made the little booklet here. And let me show you how to make an album in case you'd like to do that. So we have our two sheets here. I don't think these completely match, but let me see. I think I have another one. Okay, so I think I have these two that match up. So now to make an album, if you want to, all you would need to do, you only need one sheet of 12 by 12 paper to build the album, unless you wanna have more pages, that's fine too. So I'll bring the scoreboard just to show you the size. I don't remember the size that I did, but one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, and I just cut it at, down the middle at six inches, I believe it was. Was it six? Why is this looking more like five? Let me see. I don't remember it being five but maybe it was. Uh, well, actually what I would do when you get here is, oh, that's why, okay, okay. <laughs> it was six, because I was like, I thought it was six inches. Okay, yeah, so you could cut it down the middle at six inches. So let's say this sheet hasn't been cut yet. I'll bring it down, right? Cut it at six inches, and then you would just cut it at 10 and a quarter. Oops, sorry, you didn't see that. Okay, so so, ten, so basically each one of these sheets is six, okay, six by 10 and a quarter. And then once you have your two sheets, six by 10 and a quarter, then we just fold them in half, right? Fold this one in half. And then all we would need is our two woven sheets that we did to make our cover and our back. So like here, we have some options. If you want there to be a pocket right here, you would just apply glue right here. So let's do that. I'll do it with you. Because this is a fun project too, with just two of these woven sheets. You can have a cute little album. So I'm gonna make a pocket up top there. So I'm only applying glue on these three sides right here. So boom, boom, boom. Then I'll put this up here and this will give us a pocket up top. And of course, you know, when you're done, you can trim around once it's glued and everything and, you know, tighten it up. So that gives us our first couple pages. Then we take our next sheet that we cut. And again, we can decide if we want a pocket. Maybe we want a top pocket or maybe we want a side pocket. So let's say this time we want a side pocket. So then we would just apply glue here, down the edge here and 
right here. And that's gonna give us our pocket there. So remember, this is the back of that sheet. We're just gonna put it directly on top of this one. And you can make a little booklet like this. Doesn't have to be an album, really anything you want. I mean, you could do so many things once you have your little woven sheets done. You could do a big old sheet, you know, and just cut it into whatever you want and just have a blast. So now we have our first page, we have our second page, and this page. And we also have, grab one of these, one of my little strips here. We have a pocket up top now. And let's see, we also have a pocket right here. And I probably could have did my notches, right? Um, right there, let's see, so top, side pocket. And then you could even keep going if you want, cut more, you know, 10 and a quarter by six inch strips and just keep going. You can, of course, trim around the edge. And then we take our last woven sheet and we would glue it right here so that we have our cover in the back of our album. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna do a pocket, so I'll just glue it all the way on this one. Let me put our sheet there. And this one I'll probably need to trim because, you know, give or take a little bit, each one um, pretty much is the same size if you use the same amount of strips and stuff, but um, sometimes they, you know, vary slightly. So now we have our back cover. So we have our front cover, our pages. Where's that first page? I thought I had more pages. I guess not because I made a pocket. Okay. And then our last page. And then like this one, I would totally you know, trim this down a little bit since this one was a little bit bigger. And let's see what we got. So I haven't made an album yet, but I did want to show you, you know, all the different things that you could do once you have these patterns. So that is so cute. And then you can decorate inside, put whatever you want. I was thinking my original idea was I would put a pocket here you know, and use one as a pocket inside the album as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me, uh, where's my notch? Um, I really want to make a notch. Well, I would make a notch <laughs> and then I would go ahead and glue it down. So let's do that. I want to make a pocket with it. So I'm just going to glue the sides right now, not the bottom. I'll wait till after I cut it to the size. So yeah, I'm just going to go right here. So you'd put the glue you know, all the way up to the score line, but not on top or past it. Okay, and this will give us a little pocket inside of our album if we wanted it to also have this like pattern. Okay, and then all I need to do is cut around it. And I probably should have put a white sheet on the back of that to make it more smooth, but that's okay. I just wanna give you guys an idea of what you can do. And I can turn this piece, you know, into a tag or whatever I want. I'll have to glue that back down there. Oh, this one goes like this. So I'll need to glue that back on there just to keep it in place to make a little journaling card or a tag or what, whatever we want to make. So every time you do a cut, you'll have a couple that go rogue on you, but we just uh, go ahead and put them down. I'd probably trim off these little ones here and make something out of that. So let me get rid of this side of the pocket. So there we go. And now we have our pocket on the inside. And then I could turn this into a tag or something. And it can go right there inside of this pocket. And of course, I would want to put a white sheet, something, a blank, any color, um, just to make it more smooth on the inside of our pocket. So like to do that, let's say I want to use this. I just put glue all the way around. So this is just how you cover up the back if you want to. I think it's a good idea to make it just more smooth on the inside. So I'll just put this here, right? And then we let that dry. And then we just go ahead and cut around it and that gives us our smooth backing. So you just want the sheet to be a little bit bigger than whatever woven a uh, sheet that you're putting on it so you could just easily cut right around it then you don't have to do any measuring or you know anything like that 
And for this one, I don't want to have these little this little part, so I just I like them to be like even squares. Um, so I'm just going to cut off those little pieces that are hanging on there. There we go. And then I could do something with this. And so if you just cut around the squares, I think I'll make this into a couple little cards. And then this one I'll keep. See? And then now I have, of course it probably would be a little bit bigger, but now I have a little journaling card. can do journaling on the back. I can, you know, cut off the corners here and make it into a tag if I wanted. Right? And then I can punch a little hole here. Put some string and now I have a little tag. I have a little journaling card. So just giving you an idea of all the fun little things that you can do with these uh, sheets once you're finished weaving them together. So look at that, we made an album like in no time that now I need to do is just embellish and have fun putting stuff with and playing around with. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial or I don't even know if you call it a tutorial project share, <laughs> how to do it. Um, just so many fun things that we could do with these. I had so much fun playing around with these. So I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I do want to do a junk journal theme next because I think that would be fun. I'm curious what these will look like with some music sheets and stuff. Um, so I think that would be really fun. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Happy crafting. Bye. I'll see you guys later.